In this video, we're going to go over the alpha halogenation reaction of ketones. So let's start with acetone. Let's react it with bromine under acidic conditions. Now, to draw the major product, all we need to do is replace the alpha hydrogen atom with a bromine. The alpha hydrogen is on one carbon away from the carbonyl group. So under acidic conditions, only one of the alpha hydrogen atoms gets replaced. And so this is our product. Now let's write up a mechanism for that reaction. Now the first thing that happens under acidic conditions is that the ketone reacts with H3O+. So we have a proton transfer reaction. So the first step is going to be protonation of the ketone by the hydronium ion. So this activates it towards alpha halogenation. But first, we need to convert the ketone into its enol form, its nucleophilic form, under acidic conditions. So the next thing that's going to happen is we're going to use the base, in this case water, to remove the alpha hydrogen. And so this is now in the enol form. So in the enol form, it's going to react with Br2. A lone pair from the OH group will be used to form a pi bond, pushing these pi electrons out, causing it to attack with the Br2 molecule. And so now we have this species. And in the next step, we're going to use another H2O molecule to remove the hydrogen. And so now, we have our final product, which looks like this. And so that's it for the mechanism of the alpha halogenation of ketones under acidic conditions. Now let's go over the mechanism for the alpha halogenation of ketones under basic conditions. So we're going to show the mechanism where only one alpha hydrogen is replaced by a bromine atom. So the first thing that happens is we're going to deprotonate the alpha hydrogen. And so we're going to get an intermediate that looks like this. So right now we have a negative charge on the carbon atom. And so this is known as the enolate ion. And we can draw the resonance form of it. And so it looks like this. At this point, we're going to react it with Br2. And so we're going to reform the pi bond, causing this double bond to attack the bromine molecule. And so that's how we can show the alpha halogenation of ketones under basic conditions. Now let's work on some practice problems. What's going to happen? if we react to this ketone with Br2 under acidic conditions. And let's use excess Br2. What's going to be the major product? First, we need to identify the alpha hydrogen atoms on this molecule. 
there's none on the left side of that ketone. This carbon already has four bonds. Now, under acidic conditions, we can only replace one of the two alpha hydrogen atoms with a bromine atom. So therefore, the major product will look like this. So this is going to be the major product for that reaction. Now, using the same reactant, what's going to be the major product if we react it with excess Br2 under basic conditions? So in this case, we can replace all of the alpha hydrogen atoms under basic conditions. So there's two alpha hydrogen atoms. So we're going to have two bromine atoms at the alpha carbon. And so keep that in mind. Under acidic conditions, you can only replace one of the alpha hydrogen atom with a halogen. But under basic conditions, you can replace all of them if you use excess Br2.